guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be doing a beauty school vlog and I haven't done one since I think the beginning of January. So my second semester just ended so I thought I would do a vlog and just update you guys on school and what's going on and what I'm up to and stuff. So if you haven't seen my last vlog, I'll link that in the description bar down below. And if you haven't seen any of my beauty school vlogs, I have a whole playlist on my channel where you can watch all of them. And I think there's about five or six. So in this vlog, I'm also going to be answering some frequently asked questions that I get asked often. So I get asked these questions all the time from people like online, like you guys, but also people that I know in person. So I thought I would just answer them in this video. And I've also been super active on Instagram lately. I always like to post kind of pictures of me in class or things that I've done in school and show you guys what I'm up to on there because I think it's really fun. So in this video, I'm also going to be having some pictures like show up right here of things that I've done and stuff. But if you guys want to catch up on Instagram or like be updated often you can totally follow me on there my username is Jadora Fashion XO so I'll have it linked down below so I guess I'll just start with the frequently asked questions that I get asked often so this question I was actually asked a couple of days ago and it's do you have a job in the industry and yes I do have a job as an esthetician. If you guys don't know, I'm in school right now as a hairstylist, but last year I took aesthetics and I did get a job pretty quickly as an esthetician. So I didn't start my job until I believe October and I graduated from school July 4th or something like that. So I got a job relatively quickly and I wasn't exactly looking to get a job. It kind of just found me thanks to my friend Paisley. But my friend Paisley, who was in the program with me, she actually got a job at the placement she was at. So she was working there like all summer and she wasn't going back to school or anything. So she was just going to work there full time. And they were looking for an esthetician just to work there on the weekends. So it was pretty much like Sunday and sometimes Saturday. So she asked me if I was looking for a job and was interested. And I thought it was perfect because... Um, just Saturdays and Sundays was great because I didn't have to work around my school schedule during the week. So that job was pretty much perfect for me. So I went in, had an interview, got hired, and I've been working there ever since. So ever since October, so October, November, December. So I've been working there almost seven months, so that's been crazy, and I love my job. It's super fun. I actually work both days this weekend, so Saturday and Sunday. I don't know when this video is going up probably like a week from when I'm filming it but yeah it's a job where I really love to go and it's also something that makes me happy doing it because all of my clients are amazing and they make me really happy and knowing that they're leaving feeling more relaxed and like happy and stuff makes me feel really good about myself so it's like a really good job and I love it another question that I get asked all the time is what do I like better aesthetics or hairstyling and at first I was not sure at all because people were asking me like at the beginning of like the year when I was just starting with hairstyling and originally I wasn't ever gonna be a hairstylist like I knew for a fact that I wanted to be an esthetician and I just took hairstyling just like to try it out and it was kind of completely random so at first I didn't really know how to answer it I kind of said I liked both the exact same and I'm not finished school yet or anything so I find it really hard to pick which one I like better since I'm still learning there are some things about hair that I really don't like doing like I hate doing perms if you guys follow me on Twitter I've tweeted about perms often and I hate them so so much and there's not really a lot about aesthetics that I don't like I pretty much like doing whatever service um, there are services that I don't like as much as some, but I mean, I can do them and not like be completely pained on the inside. So I think once I'm done school completely and doing both like full time, I think eventually after a couple years, I'll obviously figure out which one I like more. But for right now, I have no idea. The next question is what service do you like doing the most? And for aesthetics, I've thought about this a lot and I really love doing pedicures eyebrow wax and facials I think those are my three favorite and I know it's kind of weird that I say I like doing pedicures because a lot of people just hate feet and hate like doing feet and they're kind of freaked out by the fact that I do feet I don't know it's kind of weird but I love the fact that people come in with feet that aren't very pretty and they leave with beautiful feet because that just makes me feel awesome I love cleaning up feet and making them look absolutely beautiful it's like so weird and it's a weird thing that I love but I love it and I also love doing eyebrows eyebrow waxing is one of my favorites I don't really do a lot of eyebrow waxes where I work I do a lot of pedicures facials and massage 
but um, whenever I go home, like whenever I'm visiting my family on the weekends or something, I am always doing their eyebrows because I only go home every couple of weeks and normally that's eyebrow waxing time for them. Um, so I always bring home my little waxing kit and I do their eyebrows. And I also love doing facials because it's kind of a time where I can relax as well as my client because my client is like nice and relaxed and kind of like falling asleep but with facials I can kind of zone out and do my thing and it's just so relaxing for me because I can be lost in my own thoughts as they're falling asleep and it's just really nice and I also love working with the skin I yeah one of my big big passions is skincare I'm just obsessed with it and for hair I don't really know what my favorite service is honestly because everything is different every single time I do it there's pretty much no hairstyle that I've done or haircut that I've done that's the same so we're always having our teachers kind of guide us along with the haircut whereas with aesthetics we had our clients in school that we pretty much did completely by ourselves but I do really like cutting hair like the basics I can do like a basic haircut and stuff and it's always really fun so those are pretty much the questions that I get asked all the time from like everybody so I hope that helped you guys so now on to the second semester update so I just had my exams last week so I honestly can't believe they're done. I feel like that came really, really fast. So I go back to school on Monday and the school is going to be so empty because everyone else is pretty much done for the summer. But there are a few like very small handful of programs that are still going for a couple more months like me. And it's kind of nice because the school is literally so quiet and peaceful and there's always a place to sit. So I guess I shouldn't really complain. So I really only had three exams this semester, which is so weird compared to last year, first semester for aesthetics. I had like 11 in a week, so it's a pretty big difference. So this year I had a perming exam and I tweeted about it. It was on a Monday at like 8 o'clock in the morning or 9 o'clock, I don't know, but it pretty much killed because I hate perming so much. But I did that and then we also had a like practical exam so it was kind of a lot mixed into one so we had to bring in a model and we had to do a color service and a haircut a shampoo and a style so it was a lot into one and we had about three hours to do it and then the last exam was just a theory exam so for my practical exam we had to bring in a model so I brought in my friend's sister so her name is Dominica and I actually brought her in for first semester exams so that's pretty cool so she chose to get highlights done so that was really fun that exam was pretty stressful mostly because we weren't allowed to get our teachers help obviously because it was an exam but for like all of these semester and stuff working with clients we always had our teachers help so it was really stressful knowing that we had to do everything completely by ourselves and not ask any questions so that's what I was most worried about just like messing up even though I knew my stuff I knew all the basics I knew how to do everything it was just scary knowing that someone wasn't there to like hold my hand through it I guess but I'm really glad that we did it that way because now I have a really good confidence in myself I know that I can do it I did it I can do it again and I feel a lot better about my skills and stuff now and I love the way her hair turned out I think it looked so so good and I I kept saying like towards the end as I was like blow drying and straightening her hair I was just so excited of how good it looked so thank you so much to Dominica shout out to her for being the best model ever I think that's all I wanted to mention in this video so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog make sure to watch all of my other ones if you haven't already I hope you guys have a awesome day I love you very much and I'll talk to you soon bye guys Shining like a fifth avenue diamond